my Ducati uh, windscreen, the small uh, windscreen, but as you can see, I've taken apart uh, the windscreen to get the windshield off and I have painted uh, the windshield, but I used the Plasti Dip paint so that it's not permanent because otherwise it would be ruined if, if you wanted to remove the paint. So on the back side of the plastic is the uh, Plasti, Dip, uh, Plasti Dip paint, excuse me. And, uh, and you know, we're all pretty familiar with the Plasti Dip and it comes in different colors. This was black and uh, so basically you just got to remove the four screws that mount right here and attach right here and then this piece has a little uh, little bracket that fits into the rubber grommet right there so you've got to remove it and then you've got to tape off your windscreen so uh, you don't get it on the on the outside of the windscreen so it's all, only on the inside and then uh, I just wanted to have the clear pieces there that didn't didn't interfere and didn't get rubbed off on the sides it's going to be in contact with the sides of the red um, of the windscreen and uh, why I did this I just why not I took it off the bike and I kind of like it off the bike but you know uh, I may put it back on and see what it looks like well obviously I am going to put it back on the bike because now that I have it painted black I think I think black would be pretty cool there's lots of contrast on my red Ducati with a lot of black parts so uh, this will I think maybe it'll maybe add to it I could be totally wrong and and then I could take it off and then if I want to I can remove the plastic dip from the other side and not most likely not damage the windscreen and uh, you know re reuse the windscreen clear it you know take the paint off and you know and have it clear and uh, you know use it or sell it um, so that's what I was thinking um, these are the little rubber pieces that mount on the back side of the windscreen and uh, hold the windscreen to the red decorative pieces and it just has little screws these are real lightweight screws and have a very small 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 torx head I almost thought they were rivets I almost thought they were rivets sorry I'm taking it out of the camera view uh, but they they were torques so I had to I had to my vision's not that great up close to really see detailed things that are this small but yeah it's a torx bit and I, I can probably read here on the torx what it is if it says anything it says a t7 torx t7 is what it looks like it is but it's small I would have thought that was like a, a t1 but maybe the t1 is the bigger one and the T7 is the smaller one, but uh, that's it. Um, I'm gonna now put the, uh, the the bread pieces back on, and then we'll see what it looks like. I need to clean the exterior because I had tape on the backside so that I didn't get anything. So there's a little residue, and you'll want to use uh, a painter's type tape that does not leave a lot of residue and can be pulled off relatively easy. So uh, if you, you want to tape it off. Um, you can use the blue tape or uh, I think green tape, frog tape, but let me flip it over. And so here's what it looks like. I painted it in, in the house in, a, in my playroom that I have and I just have a really big box and I just turned the box over and sprayed it on top of the box because this is a little small area. And I have a tarp down anyways for my uh, lizards that were in there not long ago. So it didn't matter if I got anything on the tarp, but see how it's shiny it is on the outside? And uh, it's kind of a flat black on the inside. With that said, I think this is gonna be cool because the instrument cluster is under here and it's gonna be more in the shade uh, and it's gonna be uh, you know a little bit brighter uh, without the sunlight coming in through the windshield. Um, I could be totally wrong. It could be horrible. It could look bad and, you know, lesson learned. Uh, but I thought I'd make this video and show people this is what we used to do in the 80s uh, to our sport bikes, you know, uh, FZRs and CBRs, uh, 600s that we had. And, uh, and people would paint their windscreens, but uh, we didn't have Plasti Dip then and it was permanent. Um, so there you go. Here it is all put back together. I actually kind of like my uh, little clear striping that I left right there. Kind of adds a little bit of detail to it. But, 
Uh, it looks really good. Now if it just looks good on the bike, that's what matters. Let me know what you think. I think it's going to be cool. Um, can't wait to get it put on there, but we'll see. Got the windshield screen. It's uh, all dried. Put a little heat on it. It's cold today and rainy, so I can't do anything outside. But here's the new uh, and improved black uh, painted screen. It could look good. It could look terrible. But I think it's going to look good. Here it is before. Take a good look. Here's what it looks like with the painted windscreen on. Oh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's up to you. What do you think? Please tell me. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. The camera is not going to do the, the bike justice here in the garage. Like I said, the bike has a bunch of black on it. Uh, and so it's going to mesh well. And uh, I think it's going to uh, be cool when we look at the display. Um, so this, this is flat black on the inside, so no reflections. So I think that's going to be a, a cool bonus too. And you know what? I looked up this, this decal and I, and I resaw the price. It's like $109 for this Ducati tank uh, protector. Ugh, man. And that, I don't think that's even real carbon fiber. Uh, but $109, you might be able to get it cheaper, $80 somewhere, uh, eBay or something, but $109, $110 from Ducati, ouch. There's my little red barns, anodized red barns that I added. I had black rhizoma on there and I put these red. Uh, I, I kind of like that too, I don't know. Let me, again, let me know what you think. Give me some feedback, people. The men and the women, the guys, the gals, love the gals that uh, watch my uh, videos. Love gals that ride. Have you seen that Russian or Ukrainian woman riding all the Ducatis and the Triumphs uh, with just the killer body with all wrapped in leather, black helmet, all black leathers? Woo! Can't watch too many of those videos, but that's it, man. Tell me what you think again. Let me know if you like my paint job on the screen again it's it's paint that can be removable uh, but i think it wears pretty well a lot of people will, will paint their wheels paint the exterior of their body i know they put a a clear coat on that from that company uh, that helps that to be a little bit more durable but i've seen people not put that clear coat on and this stuff lasts a year so i don't ride my bike in the rain and so it will last if you want to know more about how to paint it because it's not just for the faint of heart to just start painting your windshield. you got to have some skill uh, and some knowledge of paint and be one of those people. Um, it's still a little bit of a tricky process, but that's the video, folks. Thanks for tuning in and have, again, I mentioned before, have a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and uh, check back for more videos. Bye-bye.